Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about pen testing, CTF, and bug bounties, the fundamental explained simply. So I'm gonna do my best to break down each one for you guys to understand. All right, so you ever wonder how hackers actually learn to hack legally? I'm gonna break down three of the biggest terms you'll hear in cybersecurity. So you have pen testing, CTFs, and bug bounties. Let's get into it. So by the end of this video, I hope you will understand exactly what each one means, how they connect, and where to start. Let's start with pen testing, which is short for penetration testing. It's basically a controlled cyber attack done for good reasons. It's basically for you to find vulnerabilities before the real attackers do, right? So I want you to think of it like a locksmith. A company hires you to test their locks, their website, server, or apps, and see if you can break in. You document what you find and you show how to fix it. That's what separates an ethical hacker from a criminal one, permission and purpose. What is a CTF? CTF stands for capture the flag. This is where most hackers start learning. And that's how I learned. I'm doing a lot of, a lot of CTFs so I can make my way to basically to bug bounty. So let me put this in, let me give you some visual here. So imagine a virtual playground full of puzzles and many hacking challenges, right? So your goal is to capture the flag. It's a piece of data hidden behind vulnerabilities. Each challenge teach you something new, web exploitation, forensic, reverse engineering, crypto cryptography, or networking. It's like gym, but for your hacking skills. You can practice safely, legally, and with zero risk of getting into trouble because it's designed for learning. So you always want to make sure you uh, do this in the, the most safest way where it, you know, prevents you from getting into trouble because you get into big trouble doing stuff like this without permission. Next one, what is bug bounties? Now, once you build some skills through CTFs or labs, you can move into bug bounties. A bug bounty is when a real company invites hackers to test their system. If you find a vulnerability security flaw, you report it responsibly and you get paid like a lot of money. I have a friend that got paid over a hundred K just, and he only spent two hours. So obviously because he was good, uh, because he is good. And he got paid over almost 100K. It's insane. Uh, you, I think it's on HackerOne. I'll talk about that some other time. Some people do this full time. You're basically a digital bounty hunter. You're helping making the internet safer, one vulnerability at a time. And the cool part is you don't need a degree. You just need your skills, patience, and a solid understanding of the fundamentals. And this is why I created this video in the first place. The fundamentals you should master. And here's the truth, tools are just shortcuts. And if you do not understand why behind what you're doing, the tools won't help. So start simple. Learn networking, Linux, and have web application work. Understand HTTP requests, ports, IP address, and file permissions. Those are the building blocks of everything else. And this is how we connect them all together, right? So CTFs help you learn and practice. Pen tests applies those skills in real world environments. Bug bounty rewards you for using those same skills to find real issues. They are all part of the same journey from beginner to ethical hacker. So if you're getting started, focus on the fundamental first, play CTFs, build your skills, and then step into pen testing or bug bounty when you're ready, every hacker starts somewhere, usually with curiosity and persistence. Keep learning, keep practice, and remember, knowledge is your best tool.